Well, good morning, everybody. It is snowing. It started out raining and now it's big, fat, fluffy snowflakes everywhere. It's pretty, but I'm just over it. And the wind's blowing, so it's kind of a blizzard. Alrighty, the snow finally stopped. It was snowing and raining all day. Um, and I'm about to prepare dinner and I thought I would make some chicken stir fry tonight. So this is what I'm using. I have some chicken breasts thawing out right there. And then I'm gonna use the coleslaw and broccoli that I have so that they won't go bad. I'm gonna put in some onion. I'm gonna use some top ramen. I just use the noodles. I don't really use the seasoning packet at all. Um, we might have a little bit of rice on the side. I know that when Daryl goes to Panda, he likes to have, well, sometimes he'll get the noodles and the rice on the side, and other times he'll just get noodles, but um, I think I might just cook one of these. It's one cup, and maybe I'll take a couple spoonfuls out of it for myself. I don't know. Um, we'll see if he even wants this tonight. But um, And then I'm going to put some soy sauce and teriyaki sauce in it as well. And just some seasonings. And that will be dinner tonight. And it's going to be nice because I'm kind of cleaning out my fridge. Okay, well, I started chopping onion and I forgot. I just wanted to do strips of onions and I started out chopping it up. So some of the onion will be chopped up and some of the onion will just be in these strips. I don't know, just for stir fry, I like to have the longer strips. All right, so this will do I don't know if I should do more onions or not. Whatever, this is good. So I'm just gonna put it all in a bowl. I'm slicing this beforehand. Um, well, it's only four o'clock. So I haven't started the chicken yet. I'm gonna wait on that, but while I have the time, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, prep the other vegetables first. So I'm just gonna do the onions and the broccoli. all the broccoli I'm gonna do. Um, this is gonna make a lot of food. Once I get the coleslaw in and the chicken and the onions and the broccoli and the noodles and the rice, it's just gonna be a lot of food and I always seem to overdo it. And so this time I'm gonna just pace myself. So we've got the onions here and I'm just gonna put in this broccoli and now it'll be all nice and chopped up for when I start preparing the chicken. All right, I've chopped one chicken breast already and I'm gonna do this one and cut off the little fatty parts, ugh. And it's kind of a tiny bit still frozen, but I like that because it's a lot easier to cut. I 
I'm not quite ready to cook any of this yet. That's why I'm putting it in a bowl. But I'm just, I just, I'm just preparing everything. Okay, got that finished. All right, I have my fry pan oiled up. I put a little bit of vegetable oil in here and some butter. The butter will just add a little extra flavor. And as soon as this gets a little hotter, I'll pour the chicken in and get that cooked up. And then I have a pot of water that I'm gonna boil for the ramen. Okay, I'm now going to add a little bit of onion powder and garlic powder because the soy sauce has enough salt in it that I don't want to over salt. And for the ramen, I'm just going to break them in half and pull out the packet and then boil the noodles real quick. broccoli in a little bit later so that they wouldn't get mushy oh well it's about finished already anyway so it should be okay so we've got the teriyaki sauce and the soy sauce And Daryl doesn't want any rice tonight, neither do I, so I'm just going to be making the noodles over here. Okay, I'm going to strain my noodles. I almost forgot the coleslaw. I'm not putting all of this in, I'm just putting in a little bit. That's plenty. I thought I was forgetting something.
guess I could fry the noodles in a separate pan to make them a little crispy because these are actually just cooking in broth, but that's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and turn this off and we're done. I'll just add some noodles. Let's have a taste. I should have just basically done one chicken breast and I thought about it, but then I was like, well, maybe that wouldn't be enough. Just waiting for my my crown to bake and glaze. And I was totally crying because I was so scared. I was crying. Hey everybody leaving the dentist and I'm totally lisping I can't help it um, I think I'm starting to feel a little bit of the pain down here I mean it's not like bad pain it's just uncomfortable but um, before they put the crown on they did put um, a pain decelerant I don't know it's just some stuff to kind of help die down the pain and you know like kind of prevent hot and cold from bothering me too much I don't know but I am so hungry I'm starving I had a little piece of pizza before I left but it's after five o'clock now and oh, I'm so hungry but I I'm not gonna eat I mean I can but I just don't want to eat with a numb tongue because it all just falls out and I'm gonna I'd end up biting my tongue and then I'll have ground beef tongue but I'm exhausted and then I just went in there and I started talking to the the nurses telling them my concerns you know because you know I don't know, eight years ago, maybe I had that awful toothache because 
when I got my filling over here, he got really close to the nerve because my tooth broke off and he, it just, it was that, it was just that. He couldn't help it. He got, he ended up getting close to the nerve to fill it and he told me this might, it might be a problem and it was and it was the worst pain I've ever experienced. So I was afraid that the same thing was going to happen down here, that maybe he'd get too close to the nerve and that I'm going to go home and then tomorrow I'm going to have the worst pain of my life, but he assured me he wasn't even close to my nerve and everything should just be fine. So anyway, I was expressing all this to, to the nurse before he came in and I was sobbing. I was laying down and I had my laughing gas on and I, I was just sobbing. And I cried last night to Daryl because I was scared and so I was crying to him and I cried this morning while I was getting dressed because, and I'm, I'm about to cry right now because it's such a painful, the pain is indescribable, and I didn't want to go through that pain again. And ever since I had that pain, I have just had PTSD with the dentist. And um, so I just get so scared and emotional when I have to have anything done, like a drill like a filling or a crown or whatever. So anyway, just talking about it, even though it's all over with, it's just, I'm still scared. But anyway, I'm on my way home. I, I, I don't really feel good. So this is probably going to be the end of the, the vlog, but thanks for hanging out with me and I don't know if I'll be vlogging tomorrow. I guess it just has to, I just have to wait and see how I feel, but right now I don't feel very good. I'm hungry and I have, I just don't feel good. So, um, I will talk to you soon. Goodbye, everybody.